And welcome back to Spleef. This is going to be the next round. It is going to be O-Dogs versus Bed Exploder. That is who he chose to play against one of the revived players. Bed Exploder, along with CJ, are both the revived players. And yeah, should be pretty interesting. Bed Exploder, he held his own against Razor. And then uh, once again, O-Dogs is the most skilled that we have seen so far. Honestly, top three, if I'm being totally honest, looks like it might look like CJ, O-Dogs, and Get Out Mom. But who knows how it's going to go. Let's just start it up. This is a 30-second game. Looks like it's going to be quick. But then again, if I know Bed Exploder, he can do that. All right, so we got... Ooh, both of them did a triple shot right off the bat. I think, if I remember correctly, Bed Exploder actually... No, O-Dogs actually taught him in which I think he's going to go for the down rep. Ooh. This is it. He's got a 15 second game. He can't get up. He keeps hitting his head. O-Dogs are just going to keep the reps up and that is his strategy. Bet Exploder is now completely down and out of the tournament. Once again, no triple shots right off the bat here. So they're getting real close. CJ is definitely... He, he's already gotten downed once, so that's definitely a disadvantage here. The game is looking a little bit laggy, so that's definitely going to be whoever can adapt to that a little bit more. And he just got downed as well, so I think they're pretty even in abilities. Again, I have no idea where this one's going to go. I believe these two are pretty equal in skill. CJ could beat him if he, if he really tried to. Yeah, he probably could, He's because he's good at making the combos work, it's just, he kind of holds back on himself. He doesn't, he doesn't usually let it happen too much, which is a little bit of a problem, but it, it'll be, it'll be fine in the end game if he does, if he does actually glass, then he should be able to save everything, in which, at that point, he will be able to actually let it all out and go all out on this guy. But he's not a very aggressive player right off the bat. He he tends to be, well, you're looking at it, he tends to be like this when he's, when it's at least when it's early game, just so he can size up the other opponent. But it might mess him up this time because it doesn't need to, because he's already played him once and, lo and lost. Had it not been for this second chance that he's got here, I, I, I don't think he'd be here. Once again, a little bit of a, a little bit of a short shot behind him. And there we go, another down, another down for him. But that cost him a DJ though, and it cost him a rep and a triple shot. So that's definitely going to be a little bit gross to him. That's the thing about CJ. The thing about his strategy is he's very. He, he, he likes to assume that he can that he can take him out with bit, with a lot of abilities but he that that doesn't always happen all the time so at this point I, I should be reminding them that they are now they have they now have a one in three shot of the reward that's going to happen here it's either gonna go to CJ get out mom or o dogs which honestly all three of them are really good players and they they definitely deserve it so oh ooh, they are on real shallow water here they're not they're not safe for a second if they're if they're not paying attention at one point here there's no way they'd be making it here here we go there we go that's another down he's gonna go for the down rep but he's not gonna make it. He might have ran out of reps there because he could have easily down repped him there, but didn't. Ooh. Okay, also he's going for that. He he did he did zero himself out a little bit there, but he's not he's not totally dry at this point. I believe he still has DJs left. Probably at least half if I had to judge. Ooh. CJ just was forced to jump shot, which that's not which that's not ideal for any spleef player unless you know how to do it properly. In which you never want to do that that close range. Oh 
Okay. And oh, almost. He just he switched grounds with CJ and then sabotaged him just the way that he did on the other ground, and that's how he ended up winning. Let's get a first person on Get Out Mom real quick. We're looking at CJ from the different perspective. And he, he really likes to keep him against the wall, in which I don't blame him. I like to do that as well in my own personal strategy. Ooh, there he is. He is on one block ground, one shot, and he has to use a and he has to use a DJ to get out of it. That's really that's really risky ground for him, especially he's he's hollowing out his own his own platform, and he just fell into his own hole. Here we go. We are in about the final minutes. Nope, we are in the final minute 30 of the game. Just about plus 10 seconds. I can't math right now. So he got himself back up with a DJ and... Ooh, he's on real, he's on real low ground here. There we go. We are almost, we are on the final minute of the game officially. This is for the finals. We got CJ, we got, we got, uh, we got CJ, we got Get Out Man, and we got, uh, and we have O Dogs. So, again, this could go either way. I can't say it enough. Ooh, almost, almost. He took out the platform that he was looking for. Ooh, there he goes. There he goes. He might be going in for the close range. And there he goes. He's going for the down wrap. We are on the final. 15 seconds of the game this is it all comes down to this oh there he goes and cj is now out it is get out mom and o dogs in the finals of this tournament welcome to the finals of the tournament we have the two greats here. We have O-Dogs and Get Out Mom over here, and honestly, they're looking pretty equal against their opponents. Not sure how they're going to do against each other. O-Dogs has kept up. He hasn't lost one game throughout this entire thing, and neither has Get Out Mom. They're both looking pretty equal, and yeah, this could go either way. Let's just get right into it. O-Dogs triple shot combo. There we go. He's already wasted one off the bat. They're both going pretty equal in their shots. Odogs has fallen a little short, but he is using a little bit more abilities, but he got close with that triple shot. So he definitely is. Ooh, that was another close one. He gets real close with his shots, and that's definitely a plus in every way. There's not there's definitely some certain things that there's most things in both believe are either bad in every way or they can be good or bad there's very little things that are just good in every way and the things that are the little things that are odog seems to just nail them every time that the opportunity comes up his prediction game and his and his and his bow shots are just off the charts because he manages to full charge every time and Ooh, there, there's the first down from Get Out Mom. Here he goes. I know in the past, I think, if I remember correctly, Get Out Mom has beaten O-Dogs. And O-Dogs has beaten Get Out Mom in just the everyday queue. So they both played each other. They know their play styles. And they're just, they're adapting to it as they go. Live for a reward. And that was a clean knockdown by O-Dogs right there. He's definitely draining his DJs right here, but he is draining himself out. He does not have a whole lot of triple shots left, as he has used a lot of them in the early game, as we can see that it is 1 minute 45 into the game. We got 4 minutes 14 to go. And let's get a first person shot of O-Dog, shall we? Ooh, so here we see Get Out Mom is trying to get close range here, which is odd because I didn't see him doing that with CJ, but again, these players are good Bowsfleet players, and they have 
played each other in the queues before, so they know how each other plays. It's just a matter of adapting to it, and right off the bat, uh, I've seen that Get Out Mom has played CJ two times in this tournament. It might have been two times in a row, and he might be getting too used to it because he is going a lot of long range, in which, if I know one of O-Dog's weaknesses, is if you do reps, if you're starting to do reps close range, especially on courtyard, you can, it's it. I wouldn't say it's easy to knock him down, but it, it happens more often than not. In which I don't think he's picking that up right now because I think he's just that used to playing CJ at this point. And who knows? This could go either way. This would be the first time we've seen a loss, and there goes a down ramp attempt from Get Out Mom here. That was almost a game winning thing because it's easy to keep them down once they do that but again that's the only that's the thing that i've seen with both of these players they're definitely good at getting themselves up even when getting down reps multiple times they just they somehow find a way i don't know i'm i'm legend tier at best and i'm not the most knowledgeable about this thing so they could know something i don't and here i am hosting an event on it and Almost. I think he might be out of reps because he went for the down rep and it did not it did not 100% function properly. But he did go with the DJ single shot combo, which that is definitely a, a way to approach him. He is running in his face a little bit, but that's definitely a way to deflect it. In which, whoa, that was a that was great predicting for him. Get out, mom, right there, and that was real good. He hit the corner of a block and that could have gotten real close another down by o-dogs that's two downs in a row Ooh. oh he won that they were both in the void at the same okay we need to watch that back real quick so it's here i'm gonna watch it from here now so here he is he's back here he gets down from the prediction from get out mom and then here he is landing on the absolute corner of a block and somehow living here he is and he falls there and he falls into his own hole here they're both in the void here but get out mom somehow falls right before right before o-dogs does and o-dogs ends up taking the win so congratulations to o-dogs on winning this tournament he won himself one more month of mvp plus plus I personally funded that you're welcome by the way and yeah if you guys want to see more tournaments please be sure to let me know and if you like my content in general please be sure to leave a like subscribe all of that jazz join my discord follow my socials all of that is going to be in the description below and there's going to be tournaments more in the future that i'm going to get to and i might let one of you guys get into it it's going to be mainly most believe mains and all of that but if you guys like the tournaments there's going to be a whole lot more coming at you. And apart from that, I will see you guys in the next video.